Let's start out with this very common question. Why is it that the Bible is so hard for some people to understand? Well, there's a, and that's one reason why we're untwisting scripture, because it's, it's not as hard to understand if you're a Christian, if you're indwelt by the Holy Spirit, if you know how to study the Bible, and we're going to teach you some quick tips tonight on how to study the Bible so that you can understand it. But for some people, the Bible is hard to understand because they are not Christians. They don't have the Holy Spirit to help them, and they don't have the spiritual eyes to see. But are there some things in the Bible that are hard for us to understand? Absolutely. In 2 Peter 3, verses 14 through 16, we see this. As also in his epistles, speaking in them of things which are some things hard to understand. That's what Peter writes, talking about the Apostle Paul. Some of the things he writes are hard to understand. Even Peter acknowledged that. So yes, the Bible has some things that are very hard to understand. And we, some of them, we won't understand this side of, of heaven. We'll understand the other side. Some issues we can argue. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, for instance, 666, the mark of the beast, the number of his name. I don't understand that. I don't know what that's going to be. Now, I can guess. I can have theories, but I don't fully understand that. I don't fully understand the Trinity, as I said last week. But by faith, I believe the Bible. But when it comes to many of the key issues that the Bible describes, many of the key theologies or teachings or doctrines, I can understand. John 3, 16, pretty easy. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This is not a hard verse to understand. Uh, John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, God, except through me, Jesus Christ. The way to God is through Jesus Christ. He is the, he is the mediator between God and man. He is the one that bridged the gap between sinful man and and the sinless God. Jesus Christ was the bridge. He was the substitute. He was the sacrifice for our sins, right? That John 14, 6 is not hard to understand. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Describing the exclusivity of Jesus Christ. It's exclusive. It's not inclusive. It's not for everybody. It's for those who place their faith and trust in Christ. So John 14, 6, that's not hard to understand. John 3, 16, that's not hard to understand. A lot of the Bible, very not very easy to understand, easily understood. Some things, not so much. You got to dig. But isn't that what the Bible says? An approved workman who needeth not be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. What do you mean rightfully dividing? Rightfully interpreting it. Rightfully explaining it, reading it, using scripture to interpret scripture, scripture to confirm scripture. Rightly dividing the word of truth. But it takes, what, a workman. So most of the passages we think are hard to understand, if we work at it a little bit, particularly in this day and age, with the concordances and the Bible commentaries, going back to the original language, whether it's the Greek or the Hebrew, we can get, even as lay people, right on the internet and find most of these concordances that will explain to us exactly what that Bible verse means in the original. So we can get right to the meaning but sometimes it doesn't translate well in the original languages. And with a little bit of work, guess what? Even us lay people can figure this out pretty quick. You know that? So we go back to the question. Why is it hard for some people to understand the Bible? Well, it's hard for all of us at some point. But for the most, the Bible is a book we can all understand with a little study. Now, why is it hard for some? Well, look at this. Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Well, some things we don't understand, <laughs> like the Trinity. God's ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. And there are certain things I just don't understand, and I accept them by faith, understanding that I'm not God. He's way above us. He's the creator with the creation, right? How about this, though? 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. But the natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. In other words, the natural man, the unsaved man, the man in his natural state, how do you understand the Bible? The Bible is foolishness to those who are not saved. That's what it says in the scripture. The cross is foolishness to the unsaved. It's foolishness. Isn't that interesting? The Bible also says that professing to be wise, they became fools. The wise of this world, many of the people that are not saved, 
that much of the world says, oh, those are wise guys. Those are, the, those are the wise men of our time. Those are the smart guys of our time. Elon Musk, you know, Bill Gates. Not so much Bill, though, right? But some of these people at one time or another, the world says, wow, they're so smart. But professing to be wise, they become fools. As unsaved people, and there's no evidence that Elon Musk or Bill Gates are saved, so I pray that changes, but there is, I don't think, any evidence of that at this time. So I'm using them as examples on this date here, August 27, 2023. But the world says these are the smart guys in the room. But the Bible says when it comes to understanding the things of the Lord, they're fools. Why? Because they ha they're the natural man. They don't think and understand things spiritually because unbelievers aren't dwelt by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the comforter who comes, Jesus said, I must go so the comforter can come and help us to understand the word of God. So there's, there is a reason the Bible's hard for some folks to understand. They need to get saved. They need to get saved and they need to be filled with the Holy Spirit who will help them understand what they're reading, right? With spiritual eyes. Now, that doesn't mean that general revelation isn't available to them. The Bible says general revelation is available to the whole world, meaning the creation declares the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. 